isn't a company in this business that hasn't encountered challenges early on in the evolution of their company and the development of complex robotic technology. At Titan Medical, we've developed technology that we believe is enabling for single access surgery. We've developed an extensive portfolio of intellectual property, which continues to grow with more patent applications pending. What's more exciting though, is the quality of the team that is coming together to realize the vision for improved patient outcomes through single access surgery. Welcome to the Chapel Hill offices of Titan Medical. I'm Dr. Perry Genova, president of Titan Medical USA. Let me show you around. We have a world-class team coming together here and to solve the tough problems that occur along this journey, which is not a linear pathway. We're proud to announce our new brand for our single port robotic system, Enos. Drawing from our history of affiliation with Titan, we've adopted Enos which means of one in the Greek language. This has helped to broaden our vision from single port to single access surgery with the potential for natural orifice surgery in the future. What I'm really excited about here is that uh, this is the first time we've put our newest instruments uh, into the newest robot with the updated software. What we see here is uh, a fidelity of motion and precision of movement that we haven't seen in a long time. Uh, and what is really important about this is we haven't lost any of the strength and stiffness of the instrument arms or the range of motion. In fact, we've increased range of motion. These are particularly important attributes for robotic surgery. Uh, dexterity uh, and the ability to point the tips at one another is essential because without those abilities, you cannot suture uh, which means many surgical tasks cannot simply cannot be performed. The Whoville is a particularly nice tool that we use to demonstrate the precision and fidelity of motion. If we are able to, with the complexity of the kinematic engine, um, lock in, if you will, one axis and simply direct the tip of the tool into an orifice uh, or at the tip of these stalagmites. And I describe where we are today as being on the downhill side of the product development journey. Between here and first application in human surgery, we have some very important phases of development ahead of us. Over the next couple of years, we'll be moving from development into preparation for preclinical and clinical use to ensure that we have a system that's going to be safe and effective when it is used in humans.